What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here, one of my favorite devs of all time, Bethesda Softworks has decided to pull the trump card and join E3 2015 and do their own uh, convention, their own show at E3. And uh, I, as soon as I heard this, I was really excited about it. You know, I'm a big Bethesda fan. I love Fallouts. I love uh, the, the Elder Scrolls games. You know, I'm a big fan of all that stuff. I just recently played Evil Within. It seems like everything they touch, I usually like. Very few of their games, I, I don't gravitate toward. I think that they're a great studio. I think that the stuff that they make is wonderful. And uh, I'm really amped to see what they're going to bring to E3 2015. Now, take into account, they're going to be going up against Sony, Microsoft, EA, and Ubisoft uh, this year. So I'm thinking that they're going to bring out big guns. And on top of that, they're going to be going first. So they're going to go before any of these other giant companies. Uh, you know, conventions. They're going to be the number one, the first one that anybody sees. So I'm thinking that this is their very first one. They're going to go first, and so they got some big guns that they're going to pull out and kind of blow the socks off everybody who's anticipating gaming. Now, the first game that I think I would be willing to wage anything on that I know they're going to show at E3 2015 is Fallout 4. And the reason I say that is because their two biggest franchises are Fallout and the Elder Scrolls game. And Elder Scrolls. The last Elder Scrolls game, I think it was in 2011, 2012. I think Skyrim came out in 2011. But I think uh, Fallout came out even before that. So people have really been anticipating and waiting on a Fallout game. Fallout is an incredibly fun and engrossing experience. Uh, when I first, The first Fallout I ever played was Fallout 3. And uh, there was actually a guy at the Record Exchange video game store who told me I needed to play it. I played it and I was done. I was completely soaked into that experience in that environment and that world is just so deep and so many people you can talk to and so much you can do and it just seems like the replayability of that game is 100. I just loved it. And so I'm thinking that Fallout 4 is probably one of the games that the fans want the most. I think that probably anybody who knows anything about Bethesda knows about Fallout and is anxiously anticipating Fallout 4. I know I am. And I'm thinking probably right before they close their show out, maybe the last four minutes, they're going to show Fallout they're going to show a trailer, and then they're going to show the world and uh, the way it looks and the way it's animated. And they're going to have people extremely, extremely excited. I just think that's what's going to happen uh, in my imagine anyway. In my imagining, another game that, that uh, Bethesda created was called Dishonored. I think Dishonored came out in 2012, and it's like a, a distant world, a utopian world. And it kind of reminded me of Bioshock, the way that this game was set up. But it also had tons of, you know... Little things you could do, people you could talk to, you could take control of, you know, machines and animals. It was just really crazy. And uh, it has a big fan following. The game was really, really well received. And I'm thinking that they could possibly show off some dishonor too. You guys let me know what you think about that. Another game that was showed at QuakeCon, but nobody was able to actually see it, was Doom. Uh, and Doom is one of, it was the first first person shooter I ever played. And uh, I watched it go through its renditions. I saw the original Doom, and I played Doom 2, and I saw Doom 64, then I saw Doom 3, which totally took the graphical uh, style of the game and, and upgraded it. And so I'm thinking that this Doom remake that they're doing is going to be just as big of a gap graphically over the, old, the last Doom we had, which is Doom 3, and today's graphics. So I'm really excited about that. That's a possibility. I know that the game's being worked on. We all know the game's being worked on. Will they show it? Who knows? I'm thinking that they will. So those are two that I think for sure they're going to show. Fallout 4 and Doom. Keep my fingers crossed. Another game that they could possibly show something on would be Rage. Rage came out in 20... I want to say 2013. And uh, it may have been 2012, actually. Uh, and Rage was... It was it got mixed reviews. It wasn't received extremely well. The game just didn't have a lot of replayability. It, has, it had some mechanics that people didn't like. Too much driving, all this kind of stuff. I think... I think fleshing out the world and making it more like Borderlands, but graphically more realistic. I think that there's a good possibility that Rage could be one of the big, big games of 2015 or 2016. Of course, there's a good possibility they're going to show something with the Elder Scrolls games. You know, uh, they, they're constantly pushing Elder Scrolls forward. And, uh, you know, every time we see a new Elder Scrolls game, it's something new. You know, Oblivion, Skyrim, what's going to be next? But there's a good possibility or something I would like to see would be an old Elder Scrolls game redone. I'd like to see something like Morrowind redone in, on the PS4 and on the Xbox One. To me, that would be amazing. You know, adding a little little bit to it, more depth to the characters, more things you could do in the world, but it would give people a little bit more relatability to the world, and, and it would give 
younger gamers an opportunity to revisit that old canon. And I'd love to see an old Elder Scrolls game redone uh, and reimagined in 2015's graphical fidelity. Uh, Wolfenstein came out last year and uh, it was extremely well received. You know, the first hour was crap, but after that it was a, it was a 10. It was a really well put together game. A lot of my friends played it and enjoyed it. Uh, I got it on PS3. And I still loved it on PS3. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and so that's a possibility. And another possibility of them showing something would be maybe The Evil Within. The Evil Within is a game I beat last year on PS4. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like the best game ever. I thought that it had some really strong uh, mechanics. I think it had some really strong gameplay mechanics. But I think the characters fell flat and uh, some of the uh, controls kind of stifle the experience. And that's what I think uh, they can pull out. Fallout 4, Doom, uh, possibly Rage, Dishonored, uh, something to do with Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, and maybe The Evil Within. You guys let me know in the comments below what do you think Bethesda's going to pull out for E3 2015. And keep in mind, they're going first, so they got to make an impression. As always, thanks for the support, guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, tourist, over there! Didn't know what hit him. 